Today, while the general public awaits for the autonomous flying cars of the future, general aviation continues to be the closest means of private air transportation and a thrill to experience. Anyone who has gone through flight training is familiar with its risks, which range from loss of control and flying into terrain to engine failure and mid-air collisions. Most can be mitigated with plenty of training and information technology that improves situational awareness. Traffic, one o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. Unfortunately, for decades, the safety record of general aviation has remained a concern. The cost of many accidents unclear, and search and rescue operations surprisingly time-consuming. ADSB, or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is an emerging technology in which aircraft periodically broadcast their position to air traffic control and other aircraft. In the U.S., by January 1, 2020, the FAA will require most aircraft to be equipped with ADSB, creating an unprecedented opportunity to understand the airspace where flight training takes place. 1200.aero is an aircraft monitoring platform specifically created for the needs of general aviation. It records and analyzes data from a network of airport-based ADSB receivers to provide insights where radar coverage is poor and air traffic control not available. It was developed by a small team of pilots interested in improving their own flight safety. For students and instructors, Aircraft tracking facilitates flight debriefs without the need of taking additional electronic devices into the cockpit. Users simply register aircraft in their profile and the platform tracks activity down to every second, allowing them to review takeoffs, maneuvers, approaches, landings, and even taxiing activity. The platform also collects anonymous data about potentially hazardous situations from which the aviation community can learn. Currently, this includes near mid-air collisions, flying too low or slow, and unusually high descent rates. For search and rescue teams such as Civil Air Patrol squadrons, 1200.aero provides near real-time SMS notifications about possible in-flight emergencies and reach location data to reduce search time. To do so, the platform analyzes the airspace every 20 seconds looking for a combination of flight variables like altitude above ground, vertical speed, airport proximity, and emergency transponder codes. For flight schools and clubs, the platform can be used to track aircraft fleet, both live and historically, giving operators better visibility about their activity, including who really left that master switch on. Finally, for FBOs and airport management, 1200.aero provides reports and statistics to better predict utilization patterns and to compare KPIs across similar airports. In terms of architecture, data is captured straight from the air using software-defined radios in the 1090 MHz band attached to Raspberry Pi devices and relayed to a central VM. Raw data fits a live map and is also filtered and pushed to a Kinesis stream using Node.js. A Spark streaming application running on EMR fetches the data from Kinesis to be the duplicated, consolidated, analyzed, and stored. Analysis combines multiple flight and weather variables with an efficient clustering algorithm to detect near mid-air collisions and potentially hazardous events on every micro-batch. Data is stored in DynamoDB where it's made available to a web application written in Node and AngularJS and deployed on ECS using Docker containers. Text message notifications are sent from Spark using SNS. Over the coming months, our focus will remain on growing community adoption and receiver coverage. As the platform grows, we expect the current architecture to allow for incremental scale and efficiency improvements. In the front end, Maps featuring an altitude profile and Slack integration are next. Drone activity, even when the data becomes available, as well as collision course prediction, are likely in the future.